It may sound a bit like uh, the National Hockey League draft, in the in the sense that there are uh, three rounds because we ha we have three uh, three law clerks, and and uh, the chief uh, the uh, the chief justice, who is necessarily the most uh, senior of all, picks her three law clerks so to say, off the top, and then we have a first round where it goes by seniority. Seniority, and then on the second uh, round, it's the reverse. And then on the third round, we go back to the, uh, to the regular seniority system. But uh, unlike the National Hockey League, we don't, do not uh, trade future uh, choices. Uh, we choose the law clerks uh, uh, certainly for their intellectual abilities. I think they rank, they usually rank very high in their own uh, uh, law schools. I look for some uh, qualities of imagination, creativity, the ability to write. Uh, some often, some experience as uh, assistants uh, to uh, law professors or uh, some experience of clerking in other courts like uh, the Federal Court of Appeal or, the Quebec, or the, the Quebec Court of Appeal. And I try to uh, determine whether those three young men or women will be able to work well together. And as, the, and as a background, every year I usually uh, pick one law clerk uh, from one of the civil law school and two from the common law uh, from the common law uh, law schools